to Groove and Goods, where we combine the timeless allure of 80s disco with the modern melodies of Taylor Swift, Tyler the Creator, Arctic Monkeys, and Tiny Man. We wish to capture the essence of the 80s disco era while keeping up with the trends. We believe that these iconic artists act as conduits for rediscovering the majestic allure of the 80s disco era, with a blend of fashion, music, and a lovely 80s disco vibe. Proven goods would definitely be an oasis amongst artists and music aficionados. Proven goods is not just your typical clothing apparel. It is also a celebration of sustainability through our products. We are honing the artistic abilities of our people. Hello, my name is Tavi Prado and I am the president of 90 Minutes. Our product is called the Frito. Its tote bag is made from old shirts. In the ideation process of our product, we wanted to incorporate the fact that we can recycle and breathe new life into old items in order to save the environment. And so for every tea, there is a tote. Our goal was to promote sustainable fashion and being part of solving fast fashion, a relevant issue in our present world. The SDGs our product supports is SDG 11 and 12. Since the beginning, we've always had a vision to create a unique and sustainable product. With this, we brainstormed, researched, and thought about the current trends in our generation right now. And the idea to make tote bags out of old shirts naturally came to mind. During our entry pitch, my group mates and I made two prototypes of our product. And luckily, out of all the presentations, our idea ended up being chosen as the bizarre product for our class. Hi, I am Julian Suvia, and I am part of that place Waves. We advocate for the traditional community community. And one of the key parts of our is to really connect back with well, the roots of our country and to recognize the craftsmen and the leaders of, of our nation back in the province. So our product, like I said, are these flags and well, they look really nice. You should go buy them. Um, some, pro well, some problems that we encounter during it is the shipments not arriving, people not cooperating, but generally everything has been Hi, I'm Jessica Cardinia from Eleven Frenum, and this is our product for the bazaar. It's called the Mintala, and it is created from upcycled denim, which was donated by my very own classmates. Um, some lessons I learned during the production of the Mintala was the importance of collaboration, especially in a team that you can support and that trusts you. And because as we learned from UCSB, no man is an island. From that, I was able to foster skills in both communication and work. Hi, my name is Tori Guevara, I am from the University Pass and I am going to be one of the people managing the booth for our, uh, for our concept Casa Castitas or a very family slash new jeans oriented kind of theme. Yeah. <laughs> so um, our products range from, uh, actually there are a variety of things. We have cookie kits that are themed towards our Christmas and family bonding alongside um, our earrings and jewelry created by our, our students themselves. And we also have um, clothes that were thrifted and donated, so it's very low costly. And they all also vegetables and mayons, which all are kind of catering to the theme of family within our, within our booth, which is why we're also called Casa Castinas. Hi, my name is Andrew Darius from Grade 12A Pedentia and our booth is the Yuka Gear booth and we're going to be selling Japanese food like mochi, uh, dango, and melon pan and all those cute Japanese snacks and our theme is One Piece so you're going to be seeing some of my classmates dressed up as Luffy or Zoro or any of the Straw Hat members and I'd say the lessons I've learned from this bazaar would be organization and management, marketing, and connecting to local entrepreneurship. And I'd say the skills I've learned from this bazaar was communication because 
I had to communicate with lots of my classmates and con contact multiple uh, suppliers. Hi, my name is Ferris Mundurino Kiza. I'm from 12 East Asia. And our product that we're selling for the MIIS 2023 Kids Can Bazaar is Peta Swift Scented Candles. So when we ideated this initial product, we wanted to we wanted to delve into the idea of pop culture because in previous bazaars we we didn't really we focused more on the sustainability part and we didn't really have sort of not necessarily a lot of fun, we had fun, but then we just wanted to be more creative about it. So we focused on pop culture this, this year. Um, I did this product, it was pretty fun. I took a lot of inspiration with Taylor Swift, exactly because um, I recently became a Swifty because of the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. Shout out to her. Um, and yeah, I did this product was a lot of fun and working with my classmates on it was super, super fun because it allowed us to practice our entrepreneurial mindset and our entrepreneurial skills. Welcome to the MI Kids Can Bazaar.